Hi there. What's that you have on your hand? Oh hi. It's a bird. I have a talking bird. Oh really? Can I hear it say something? Sure thing. I got it in Mexico so it only speaks Spanish. Wow. That is very cool. You want to sell it? I suppose I could. How much you want to pay for it? Well, let me think. I am a little short on cash but I could make out a promissory note for a hundred bucks and give it to you. I could pay it off in a week. Okay. Sure thing. Let's have it. Here you go. Very cool. Enjoy the bird. Great. I got a promissory note for a hundred dollars. That bird don't talk. I am a ventriloquist. I am gonna sell this promissory note to my stupidly naive sister. I better hurry before it's discovered that the bird knows no Spanish. Hi Laura. Say. I'm a little short on cash. I'll sell you my hundred dollar promissory note for seventy-five dollars. Okay. That sure is sweet of you, Pete. Thanks. I was looking for a gift for my boyfriend, Gary. I will just give him this note. He will be so happy. Oh good. Here comes Gary now. He will be so excited to receive his present. Hi baby. I missed you. What's up? Hi sweetheart. Let's go under the tent. I have something for you. Come. Sit with me under the shelter of this lovely tent. I can already tell. This is going to be a great day. I have a gift for you. Here's a promissory note for a hundred dollars. Payable within a week. Oh happy day. Happy happy day. Say. Wait. Who is that coming our way? Is he carrying a burger? Hey. I think he's the dude what's got to pay me a hundred dollars next week. Hey there. What's with the bird? Oh. You mean this stupid bird? I bought it off Pete. He said it talks Spanish. It don't talk at all. Listen. That is awful. Just awful. I know. I feel like I got cheated. I gave Pete a promissory note for a hundred dollars and am not going to pay it for this squawker. Non-talker. Sorry pal. But I have the promissory note now. And according to the law you got to pay me. Doesn't matter you got cheated. How much did you pay for the note? Actually, I paid nothing at all for it. It was a gift from my sweetie. She bought it from her brother, Pete. The swindler. Of course, she didn't know he cheated you. But I thought only those who paid money for a promissory note could collect where there was cheating involved. Yes. Generally that is the case. Only in HDC that is. A holder in due course. Can collect on a note issued where Ted has been cheating. However. I fall into an exception. It's called the shelter rule. If I get a note from a holder in due course. I, too, become a holder in due course. Laura paid Pete for the note. She didn't know Pete cheated you. She became an HDC. Then. When she gave it to me. I became an HDC no matter that I paid nothing for it. I'm starting to get it. Notes should be transferable. Not tied up by the originating contracts. Also. As with the law of contracts. As an HDC I have solid rights to pass on. Well. It sure looks like you guys found shelter. By the shelter rule. But not me.